Okay, this is a 3.5 liter motor, 2006 Toyota Avalon. This is my actually my third attempt at changing the ignition coils in the back. The first time I made a mistake, I took off all the air cleaner, the uh, throttle body, disconnected all the lines and stuff, took off the bolt on the right, on the uh, driver's side back there. That wasn't that tough to get to. But the mistake was leaving this bolt here as my last one before undoing, you know, these manifold bolts here on the top that are easy to get to. But I should have started with this bolt right here on the passenger side because it is really a bitch. This is the bolt. It's a 12 millimeter. And you're going to need something special to get back there. I ended up getting a couple stubby wrenches, a couple stubby, or actually stubby ratchets, quarter inch, three eighths inch, and I was able to get on uh, on the bolt with the, the quarter inch stubby. The problem is I couldn't budge it. My hand is way back here, um, plus the windshield wiper tray is right up against your arm there, just tearing the crap out of it. Wiring harness is in the way. So really what I had to do was I had to remove the, uh, the wiper tray and, and assembly and stuff. First time I did it when I was uh, taking off all the stuff and I got about two hours into it. I tried to do that the first time but it looked like it was going to be too complicated so I just backed off and uh, just buttoned everything back up. And then I got some new tools because I didn't have the uh, quarter inch long sockets. So I got some of those. I got the stubby ratchets. Couldn't get it with that. So I wasted, you know, a different, like an hour here, an hour there, trying to make it work. So I finally said, I can't do it. I got to take off this tray. So I went at it, took it off, and it only took about 20 minutes. It was not difficult. And when I go to put it back on, I'll, I'll show you how to do it in reverse so you can see there's nothing to it. So, really, if you've got big hands like I do, and a few other people have made this comment too, uh, it's just impossible. And something else, I got this, uh, this ratchet on there, and even with all this stuff off, using two hands, I couldn't budge that bolt. It was really on there tight. They must have put some Loctite or something on it. Because I was uh, hitting it with a hammer and it wouldn't crack. Finally got uh, a piece of square tubing extension to put over top. It finally popped and I just about took my neck off because of the force, you know, throwing me into this, uh, this hood here. So if you're going to tackle this job, if you want to just try it with the tools you have, if you think you have the right tools, well then try to get go for this spot here first. That's what I recommend. And let's see if I can show you exactly where it is. Well, what I'll do is uh, I'll give you a better idea when I take the manifold off. I'll show you where it is. But the bolt actually sits up at an angle like this. So it's not flat. I mean, it doesn't go in horizontally. It's, it's up tilted like this, which makes it harder. Now, as far as removing all these hoses and things, you really don't need to, you don't need to mark this stuff because it's self-explanatory. You just, I mean, it's pretty easy to remember. This goes here from the side. This thing here, you just lay, you just lay it over. And this goes to there and there. And this hose from the back goes in there, and then uh, this hose here right there. I mean, it's really going to just go back together one way. I didn't have any problem putting it back, and I didn't mark anything. So just get uh, this stuff here, these clamps un undone, and then you just pop this off, take this off, and this piece here, it uh, 
All he has is the, the, the three clamps in the front, but there's two pieces that uh, pivot back there, and what you have to do is push back and then pull it up to get this off. And then take off the throttle body. Just You can just leave up these, uh, these coolant hoses right here that are hooked up to it. There's no need to take that off because you're just going to undo this, drop it down, and just leave it. This will give you a better idea. Here's the actual piece in the center. That's a throttle body, air cleaner side here. This just pops off once you take off those uh, three connections, I think. And then you can see back here in the back there, that's the pivot point. And uh, it just pivots back there on those two. Okay, you've got these four Allen wrench bolts on the top here. And then you've got uh, one nut, 10 millimeter nut on each side. So these are five millimeter, and uh, this is these are ten millimeter, and then it should just come right off. Yep, that was it. So it just came right off those four, four Allen nut bolts, and then two ten millimeter nuts on the side, and it just came right off. Now you're gonna want to cover this up some way, so you don't drop stuff in there while you're changing the coils. And the plugs. Here's a good look at the, the bolt here on the passenger side. This manifold sits pretty much like this. So you can see that's where the 12 millimeter 12 millimeter bolt goes right there. And it goes at an angle like this. And it attaches to a bracket, which uh, it holds the wiring harness up, goes down here. And I saw one guy that actually, I think he took it off at the bottom there. And he ended up breaking this top part here. So that's what you're up against. There's, see, there's a bracket on this one too, on this side. And there's a, you could actually take off this nut or this, uh, this bolt here, the top one. But this thing here is in the way, so this was the easiest one to get to. And uh, that can just all stay the same. So that's it. Just change out those uh, gaskets here. I got some stuff for that. And I won't bore you with the rest of the stuff. I'm sure you've seen it. There's quite a few other videos where they show you how to take the coils off. And, but I will show you how to put this uh, wiper tray back on. Show you just how easy it is. Because that's the way to go. I wouldn't even mess my time, waste my time with trying to do it without removing that thing. Because it only takes 15, 20 minutes and everything is so much easier. This bolt on the driver's side is easy to get to. It's a little tough, you know, with the the wiper tray in the, in the way there, but you can still get to it. But the other one, couldn't do it. No way.